to do something, you know, and I'm going to invite you to do this. First of all, please, if you could stand up, you've been sitting a long time, so just kind of stretch out, reach up, reach up and know that you are not alone, okay? There's a reason we are one body and one life in this room right now. And if you can hold the hand of the person next to you, please, just for one moment, I'd love you to do something. With your eyes open, look at each other, look around this room. Then go back to your original position and close your eyes and do something I call a freeze frame. It's a freeze frame, and what a freeze frame is, is you're taking in not only the visual that your eyes have seen, but now you're embracing it with your heart. When you embrace it with your heart, you're going to feel it with your energy. You're going to pass that through your hands, through your heart, through your spirit, and through something I like to call my inner vibrator. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's better than orgasmic, let me tell you. When you feel the love from each other, thank you for being here and thank you for having me. Please take your seat. Nice. Thank you. There is absolutely no way in the world that each and every one of us would be here right now unless we were called to be here by a higher power. We've heard it called earlier God. You can call it Buddha. You can call it Ziggy. I, I really don't care. I had an iguana. <laughs> Uh huh. And I hated reptiles. That freaked me out. My brother used to get them, and they in the wind. And I freak out. No way, man. Snakes. Anything. It's like, ugh. I wear a necklace. It's a snake. Yeah. It's made of diamonds. Not bad. <laughs> I want it because I face my fears. Because I'm shedding my old skin. And you know, there was a little reptile that came in an art truck. <coughs> to a really cold part of Canada. 